In the winter of 1985, after a strike which lasted six months, the trawlermen of Newfoundland are returning to work. Going to the ice edge to fish for the northern cod, they will be at sea for 10 days and then home for 48 hours. We were working in the plant for about 15 or 16 years as a cotter in it, the cotton line. Then I got the job out here, watch one, after. Is the Zandberg actually to sail again now? The Zandberg, I think, will be ready to sail this evening, hopefully. That's good news to get that going again. interest of the companies, uh, especially of FPI at the present moment, is to try and win back their, their primary processing markets uh, in the United States. They've lost a lot of them because of the Trollman strike, which has been, been on a long time. My priority of the fishery, as I see it, is the fishermen. You know, there's no point to harvesting the fish if the fishery isn't serving the, the workers, the fishermen, the plant workers, the people in the industry. This is the first time I've been able to come down here in the past three weeks because of the weather. Because it can be pretty dangerous in bad weather. You come down every week? I try to come down either on a Friday or a Monday. If I don't make it on the Friday, I come on the Monday. There are only five families live down here. You'll be glad you're going back out in the boats. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, where would I be delighted? They won't have to put up this here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good evening to you all. Well, it's nice to be here again. I'm sorry I haven't been here for several weeks because of the poor weather conditions. So I would hope anyway today that as we do come to the end of uh, this strike, <coughs> that it's not the end of everything. It's rather the opportunity for the company and for the governments to review their approach uh, to realize that the most important element uh, and component part of the whole consideration of this resource are the people who work in it, the employees who work in it, and the families and the communities, such as a community like this, that is dependent on the fishery. Uh, we'll pray for everybody employed in the fishery that it might uh, be a source of security and freedom and health.
This is John Callahan, calling from Fisheries Products International in Catalina, sir. We have the, uh, the boat Zamberg sailing tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. That's 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Okay, well, I'll, I'll take care of the phoning, but if you wouldn't mind taking the name so he can make sure that he can pick these guys up tomorrow morning when they come down on the bus all together, okay? We got, you got to pick up Gary Beasley, a Woodrow Butler, and the other two guys are uh, Dave Warren, Dave Warren, and Edward Oliver. Testament scriptures from Psalm 107. They that go down to the sea in ships, that do business in great waters, these see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. They mount up to the heavens, they go down again to the depths, their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man, and are at their wit's end. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble.
Try to get around his eyes. We can't, we can't get through that. We gotta try to get around us. We gotta got steam over 600 to get to it, man. Because of this. Marty, there's me, and see Wayne. There's Marty, and there's and Wayne. There's Nanny, and there's where's Wayne. And there's uh, Noah. There's Daddy, and there's David. Come on, 
What other work is available in Marystown? Uh, there's nothing available in Marystown. Um, um, when Dave and Iran strike, I went up to the stores, motel, looking for a job. You really got to have experience, especially at a cash or something like that. And I haven't got none of that. I never had no luck at all. I used to go back and forth, back and forth, never had a bit of luck. And, of course, the fish plant was cut close in as well. Yeah, the fish plant was on strike then at the same time. Well, down here, everybody felt it, because everybody depends on the plant down here. It was about 80, 90 percent depends on the plant down here. You like working at the fish plant when you were there? Yeah, I loved it here. Yeah, it was great. I met a lot of new friends, and... Yeah, I really liked it there. Everybody around here was pretty good, and if I need anything, you know, if one is there and uh, mm -hmm. I just go to him and more than likely, you know, they do help out. I must say, they're very good around here. But the only problem I have now is, well, if the youngsters now, when they get sick or something, they, they look for the father. And he's just not here. Come here. Come on. You good boy. <laughs> Do you usually have any idea where, where he's gone fishing or...? No, I never have an idea. And that's a bad now, but first when uh, where I was married to Dave and he was going out on the Grand Banks, I used to think that was over here in Fortune. But now, I, was, I know the difference now. But uh, no, we never know where, where they're gone, or not even when they're going to land. Sometimes he lands in Argentia or Catalina or Trapassi, anywhere. Do you worry much about accidents on the boat? Oh my gosh, yes. In the wintertime, you don't know what to expect. It's not so bad in the summer now because not so much happens, but in the wintertime, the snowstorms and all the wind and everything like that, you never know when someone's going to call you and tell you it's after happening. What do you think maybe that first boat, the big one there, may be used for? Okay, it could be used for catching fish. But what, what kind of fish? Okay, Shannon? Whales and big fish like the ones you can't catch. And where would they go to catch these fish? Past the uh, Marystown and Corner Brook and all that. So they go far away then? That's what you mean by saying that you go, they go, can't go far away to catch these fish. Shannon, do you know any boats that maybe look like that big one? My father's boat. Okay, well, what's that called? It doesn't have any other name? Uh, Drager. That's right, it's called a Drager. Uh, that's just a rule, it's uh, the captain do it from 6 to 12 and the mate from 12 to 6. 
just standard way of doing it. Just, uh, yeah. And right now we're up in up in this area here. We're up around 49, 30 north, and about 49 west. So we had to follow follow the ice age down in order to get in with the boat side because you can't get down going straight. How much longer will that take us to move? Be about another seven hours we get down with a boat track. <laughs> Won't take long anyway, boy. Yeah, you got to take our boats there, too. Steam back to the boats. I don't know. Steam back to the boats there, that time. We used to take the boats out, Aiden. We told you in the order, it seems, then. It's like when we're getting better fish. What? It's like when we're getting better fish to the seam, wasn't it? There's no junk to get in there last night, anyway. 
Uh, this is your screen here, that's, that's where you cut off fish loop. And what it does is where your sound will pick up if you're any amount of fish it will pick it up as a darker colour above the, the bottom. And your loop is uh, just to show you the concentration of the fish and if it's on the bottom or off the bottom or what way it works. Well, like now we're not picking up anything, as you can see it's snow marks on it or you're not picking it up on the sound either. This position here, and now we're going up in 2J. The land age about 200 fathom of water, 185, 200 fathom. That'd be about 150 miles farther north to where we were fishing at yesterday. <coughs> There's the oysters moved back now, so you can get to work there, so we're going to give it a try. Hopefully, get more fish and bigger fish. It's 6 p.m. and this is Chris Morgan on 710 CKBO serving the Clarenville Bonavista area. And here's an important notice. Fishery Products International Catalina wish to advise production workers that work will be resuming Monday, February 11th as follows. Cutters at 7 a.m., skinners at 7.15, the trimmers at 7.30, and the packers at 8.30. And with that good news, here's some great music to go with it. Doug and the Slugs on 710 CKVO Country. The fish is swimming at, uh, at, uh, uh, at about, say, 200 meters in, in about four degrees. So it's, you, they're not in the ice, they're always around about the edge. So the ice sometimes goes over the top of the fish. And uh, that's where the main food sources are. So uh, the Zamberg's fishing right on in and out of the, of the ice pack at the moment, on, in the navigable ice. How many boats are in the entire fishery products fleet? There are 52 stern trawlers in the fleet, plus three uh, side trawlers, which operate seasonally from Galtus. And does that represent all the Newfoundland uh, trawlers? No, it represents, I say, about 90% of the uh, Newfoundland-based uh, uh, stern trawlers. How important is the operation of the Zamberg to the Catalina plant? Well, the Zamberg is, of course, one of the major uh, uh, ships there, and her catch, her supply, is roughly one day's uh, work for that plant, which employs a thousand people, and it's the main sort of economic unit on the, on the uh, Bonavista Peninsula. So she represents, in, in, in other words, one-tenth of that, uh, of that uh, year's uh, economic life. You want to hit one else? Kept. Even glow. 
No, your name is it's John. John Goff. Yeah. Apron? Apron, glove, and hat. A cat. Yeah, I'm late. I'm late. What do you like about working at night? Well, I like the hours, right? Because I don't have to get no babysitters, like, you know. And uh, I like the job on clean up, right? I don't, I don't like to add fish. <laughs> I never did when I worked there before, right? Tom is working on the draggers. Right. Yeah. yeah. And how, he's gone how often? Every 10 days, and then he's in for 48 hours, right? Or sometimes a little bit longer, sometimes, and uh, dragons get sound loaded, right? <laughs> Do you always work on a filling machine? Uh, in the winter time, yeah. What do you do in the summer? Cotton, bone, and. <laughs> Which do you prefer? <laughs> it's a job to answer. It don't make any difference, I guess, what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Job is a job, I guess. <laughs> what work do you do here at the plant? Ginger. It's market in here better than out there. Made more money out right there. Get the top bonus in that room. But I like it out there better.
After six months, I thought it was time to get back now. Thank you. We'd be half a year, that's what's pretty soon. Who's there? Security, security, all stations, all stations, all stations. This is St. John's Coast Guard Radio. St. John's Coast Guard Radio, St. John's Coast Guard Radio. A storm center just east of the Belle Isle Bank is forecast to move eastward tonight and weaken. A trough of low pressure extending southwestward from this low is expected to swing through northwestern areas and weaken this evening. Marine interests are advised that storm warnings are continued for the Belle Isle and the entire Grand Banks marine areas. No change from yesterday where we were up to 2J looking around, we couldn't find anything. We steamed back last night, our position is 52 north and 51 west this morning. Uh, Roger, uh, Joe, I'll get that line available. Right. I do think that it's an all right read, John. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to read the line out of the line. Okay, I'm going to read the line out of the
be just be, be taught at it. Fishing in the dory in the morning. Very good there. Ah, yeah. Do you usually work here? No, no. Just lend the hand to the boys. <laughs> Just give the boys a hand, that's all. Quit this ragged, wouldn't you? Most comfortable life we got. Working 12, 14 hours a day. Nothing else to do. Had to go. <laughs> So you work and help cut the fish as well, eh? Oh, yes. If you're getting any, any amount of fish, you help. Usually stay up for 18 hours, then go for six. This is best between, no, I'd estimate the skipper, that's the way we run.
Everybody home would still be asleep now. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Looks like as many stars over here. <laughs> By now they should know when you're getting back. Well, they they know mo mostly anyway because look, you can call cat line or five or six of us on one boat, so they usually has turns. Eh? Women knows more about this than we do. <laughs> they can they can probably tell you when you're going to land. If you were talking to them right now, we don't know. <laughs> Sandberg, 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 262, here I guess you got her full, Laura. Uh, no, not quite, ever, not quite. Another 15 or 20 days, I think it's a uh, marble. I got yeah. 20 days, most of them are uh, in the past five days today, but I don't want. I see, 20,000 more. Um, I'll come up here you long this morning. What's your position, Laura? Uh, What's it feel like to make these calls every morning? What does it feel like? It feels good. When you when you get uh, that, that amount of fish overnight, uh, you're talking 100,000, 90,000 per boat overnight. It feels good. What's the Penny Smart got on board? Uh, uh... 275. You got her schedule for when? Uh, what's that I scheduled for? Uh, Benny Smart, Thursday. Thursday. Zamora? Sometime tomorrow, I'm known, uh, Mike. Well, let's come back to Zamberg a minute. When do you reckon Joe will finish? Oh, he got, uh, 310. Oh, he wants another one on the phone. Uh, Joe, what's the schedule for Zamberg? Yeah, so he could he could well be here by by Thursday night. Yes, he could be here by midnight Thursday night.
de charge à saint jean je reviens de Nouveau-Brunswick. Quel comté? Je m'en vais, je crois que je vais aller à Boston, Mass. So far. Ça prend combien de temps? So, maintenant, c'est de la misère à dire pour les, les trajet du bateau, mais ça prend à peu près trois jours de, de voyage. Our other value-adding operation is down in Danvers, Massachusetts, which is just outside of Boston, and they're primarily a converter. They take our products and do the, the traditional breading batters. Uh, we have a line down there that we're very proud of that we also make here in, in Buren to service the Canadian market. It's called New England Style, and this is an enrobed product. It's an 85% 85, uh, 85 fish flesh product which segments it very much from the other products where you're talking 65, 60, and 50% fish. It has a very light uh, butter oil coating on it with about 10% uh, added crumb on top just for flavor and for garnish. That's very successful in the U.S. We're trying to make fish taste better. Some of us in the industry don't really want to uh, admit it, but we would perhaps want to take it, make it taste less like fish and more like things that people are used to, uh, particularly children. I mean, to digress a little, one of the things that makes nuggets work is really no thanks to us as an industry, but to McDonald's. You say to an eight-year-old child, you're going to have McNuggets tonight, and they're very happy. Well, it's our objective to have fish McNuggets and to have that same positive response from children. So you say to yourself, why children? Well, if we have them as a marketplace, one, they'll coax mom and dad to buy fish, and that would be a glorious thing to happen for the fish industry. But secondly, we have them for about 40 years as a customer. The danger is if you give them fish that they don't like or it's not prepared or something they're not used to, you turn a child off.
independent store as Waldman's? Well, I, I'd like to think that we're a, a fish store that can cater to all kinds of different tastes from uh, all kinds of nationalities. We try to serve a great variety of fish because a lot of nationalities prefer their own type of fish. And we try as much as possible to please, like we have an international flavor in Montreal and we, we try to reflect that. <laughs> Pourquoi vous achetez plutôt du poisson aux États-Unis qu'au Canada parce que c'est plus frais Il y a beaucoup de, de choses qui rentrent dans, dans la décision d'importer de, de, directement des États-Unis. Euh, le prix, la qualité euh, sont les deux principales raisons parce que il faut figurer que même avec le, le change de monnaie, que le transfert euh, qu'on paye, la différence de, entre le prix américain, le dollar américain, c'est encore avantageux d'importer du poisson de, des États-Unis. Et la qualité est pas mal bonne aussi. because of me, he's only in for a couple of days, and then he's gone again. He'll come home for a couple more days, and he's gone again, you know, so. You get used to it now. But, uh, like I said, there's, there's not much of life. I prefer he be on land, right? Can you see the boat come in from here? Oh, yes. What's it like when you see it come? Well, it's wonderful, you know, to watch her going across the harbor, and at least knowing they're coming in instead of going out. Do you, do you find it more difficult in the winter? Oh, yes. Certainly. Because uh, I know they're out during storms and the wind. And it's a bigger worry on you. Do you know where they go? When he goes, do you know where they go? But you know when he's coming back. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Whose boat is it, David? Ed. When do you know that he's coming back? They let us know on the recording when they're doing. When do you start calling? <laughs> I, um, about two days before I expect him in. And uh, there's a couple more women on the boats, their husbands on the boat, and uh, we call each other back and forth. And when one finds out something, you know, they let the other one know too. Do the kids get really excited? They, they look forward to him coming in. He's oh, not uh, yeah. my little boy. Now he mm. don't go in days. He oh. goes and sleeps. Oh. Mm. And he always saying, you know, how many more sleeps is before daddy comes home? Junior, 
Joan, Joan, and Justin. What's Justin? And Nanny. Mm. Nanny, Keith. And the award. Poppy. Poppy. And everybody else. Everybody else in the whole world. Okay. We invite her our son, Holy Spirit. Amen. And that's that good boy, sir. Night. You be good boy and go sleep. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Night. Hey, you know what her brother's head from? Anybody else around here? Good morning, Ernie. Good morning, darling. I was waiting on this morning. What's the news? Nothing. 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 Long way steam yet. You fellas gonna have some breakfast now, or how are you, buddy? You gonna have some? What? So you don't know how long it'll take? Oh, geez, tomorrow night, I guess. That's if we left Carolina. Right there, William. Tomorrow night for sure. Down. There he is. Oh, gee, that's a quick car, brother. <laughs> oh, get the left pro part if I got in there. Oh, right. The 45 hours, I guess, last hole. So you have to cut for a while before we're finished. Three or four hours, I guess. Best part of the trip, isn't it? Uh, yeah. uh -huh. yeah, I'll settle with this this morning, though. Yeah, I'll play it. I'll learn Just coming on this chart, and we're down about, well, about here, really. And as you see by the ice chart, that we get up to about 49, 30 north, and then we'll get to, to Holly and forget along. We're still going to have to go through a lot of ice, but it'll be faster this way. How long will that take? Oh, it's going to take us 48 hours or longer from now. Ordinary, it'll only be about 20 hours. But with ice, it's going to double it and plus more. It says. Do you live in Catalina? No, Bjorn. How long will you stay in Bjorn? No, you usually get 48 hours home or, or longer. After this trip, I hope it's longer. And then back fishing for how long? Well, eight, nine, ten days, probably a week. Use not supposed to be any more than a week this time of year. No more water to be seen. Kept in there behind you, or? Yeah, I'll try to back around, I guess. Just like that time last night, we got stopped for. Maybe lumps of white water, I'll throw it up and I'll absorb it. What do you watch for? Ice. Big pan's ice. Art layer. Try the art layer. <laughs> Oh, we're doing a trawl 
day. About another hour for I guess. Straighten up. Straighten it up for what? For the next trip. We're leaving. Yeah, on the way home, thank God. <laughs> Not for this. Sandward, 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 you make. Yeah, we go. Yeah. What are you saying? Where? So you didn't lose the tuner? No. We're not knit by her. No, but Jim told him he went three days, you know, notice by rights. At least he's going to go in tomorrow night midnight with the door. I guess we're going to have the phone 3309. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do the door. Bike bed, 25,000 or is what? 2025. Oh, that's fishing up here, or? What? What do you want to eat? Nobody got in there. Do we have a You keep an eye on them fellas? Great. No, me too. <laughs> <laughs> No horseplay, boys. Did <laughs> 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 you do that? Hey. St. John's Cross Car Radio to Zandberg, Zandberg on 16 Arena. Okay, Zandberg, I'm okay, go ahead, sir. Roger, sir, en route to Catalina from the fishing grounds. Our estimated time at the Eastern Traffic Zone is 16.45 local time. And our estimated time for Catalina is 18.30 local time.
Yeah, yeah, I guess. You go down the wharf? Go down the dock? Go down, you want to pick something? Yeah, this boy got some kind of luggage. Yeah. Get a man to move with me. <laughs> See you now. Is that there, I wonder? <laughs> Dad! I had to go down there and wash two pork chops! She dropped two more! Oh, I didn't think you could be a pot. Like the fire going again now. Eh. Be up the pond. This is the steering wheel here in case the automatic pilot gives out, see? He steers her with the wheel then. But not very often that gives out. That's a radar there for picking up icebergs yeah. and boats. But see them two big doors down there? Where? What's in there? Kind of hanging off on the gallows there, no? Yeah. That's for keeping the trial open for the fish to go back in the trial, see? Them two doors goes down the water and spreads, spreads open. Yeah. It keeps the amount of the trial open and uh, fish goes back in the trough, see? Yeah. And then all them balls there, and see the balls, the rollers, Dadaline balls? See them going around the horseshoe there? That keeps the trial on the bottom so that the, the fish uh, go back in the trough, see? It keeps, the, keeps the, the trial on the bottom of the ocean, right? Yeah, why do you get that big old on there for? That's for uh, discharging the fish. <laughs> this is uh, for your engine, eh? For speed, slow and fast. Like when you want to stop her, you bring back the cereal. You want to go full speed, you bring her right up on to 10, eh? So the I'm boat goes faster. How fast can this boat go? Oh, she can go, I say, at best of about 13, 12.5, something like that. It's the Murray. Come on, baby. Eat dinner. What? Come on, baby. Let me see it. You're not sick. Yes! Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm doing it, uh... It's the mat inside the head. No. No? Five dollars in the No, 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 were you watching for him? What? Where did, did you watch for him? Yeah. He was oh he was sneaking off. Now we'll get me was me was uh what is it I did? Me hooked right under the blankets. It hmm, goes in there. <laughs> now and did you know who it was? Who my dad was. You'll get some dinner. Yeah, I'm ready. No, I'm looking for the milk. We didn't eat fish. Oh, he's <laughs> 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 Okay. Who wants
Where'd that fish come from? That fish? Mm -hmm. Oh, whale's tongues. Whale's tongues? Not catfish tongues, is it? Whale tongues. Where'd the whale tongues come from? He looks what? What? <laughs> you like them whale tongues, do you? Them tongues come out of catfish. Oh, yes. What's the biggest catfish is? Oh, big, as long as that table. No, Oh, yes. Oh. How are you? Getting better. How you feel? Got a bit of a temperature. Ah? Mm. Uh, want anything to eat? No one knows cake. The better that cake. Oh, okay. Anything else? Dave, when did you say the boat was going? Five o'clock this evening. Uh, well, no, the boat's not going far. We have to leave here far because I guess the boat probably go right around 8.30, 9 o'clock this evening. It's probably scheduled for around 8 because we landed around, uh, I think it was 8 o'clock. So, leaving it. I think 2 o'clock tomorrow morning I'll have 48 hours home. So, Is so, that when you expected to go? Well, I was sort of expecting to get the weekend home. Um, but I guess they're trying to get our boat out. As fast as possible. Huh. Breaks my heart. <laughs> that breaks my heart. <laughs> Come on. Say goodbye to him? Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, 